Hey, and welcome back to another video. So just a quick video to address some questions that I've been getting on some of my older videos over time. I kind of forgot about this as well, but uh, I recently saw it uh, on my YouTube to-do list and I thought I'll uh, address these uh, questions. Now, the general questions on my older water damage phones uh, repair uh, repair videos like the M2 Aqua, the LG Thrill 4G, the Sony Ericsson uh, K850 uh, and then the uh, K850i and then the uh, Moto G stylus videos. Um, people have asked, after a water damage phone has been re repaired, should I use it later after basically post repair? Uh, is it safe to use? Is uh, my data safe? Because a lot of people do have important data on their phones for, on day, for day to day life. Uh, not everyone has computer backups and hard drive backups. So people have important information and files and stuff on their phones. So is this phone, is a water damage phone safe to use uh, after it has been water damaged to a certain extent, whatever the extent is? or would it randomly fail and would you lose all your data? So I'm here to answer that question basically in this video. Um, and you have to remember that this is a broad spectrum. Water damage is really hard to cover because uh, certain phones are affected in different ways. The types of water or solvent or whatever, uh, if it's salt water or just tap water, if it's soap or if it's Lysol or it, it depends uh, vastly on the water damage. So I'll try and give you a generalized answer. However, this may vary, just uh, a heads up. So as usual, before jumping right in, don't forget to smash that like button down below as it helps this video get on YouTube's algorithm. And also don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and ring that bell notification button so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Also, don't forget to leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of this video or if you have any questions uh, regarding a water damage phone or are you using a water damage phone right now and you're just concerned? Uh, have you had one repaired in the past and did it fail on you? Uh, whatever you want to let me know down in the comment section below uh, or ask a question so I can answer that question. Or uh, we can start a discussion uh, down in the comment section below. Also, don't check, uh, don't forget to check out my social media, which is linked down in the uh, description below, which includes Instagram, Discord, and Twitter. And now let's jump right into this video. So I'll be splitting this video into the types of liquid damage uh, categories. Um, I'll split the uh, the slider down below into uh, water damage, just uh, distilled water or tap water, then salt water and solvents. I'll split it into three uh, parts so you can uh, jump to whichever section uh, your phone has been exposed to it. So if it's water, if it's salt water, or if it's a solvent or something mixed in with the water like soap or a Lysol or some sort of acid or something like that. Um, so you can jump to whichever section you like. So first of all, let's start off with just simple tap water or distilled water, or just general water and uh, basically uh, clean water without anything mixed into it. Now exposure time, uh, depends a lot and um, for example on these phones right here we have an LG Thrill 4G Moto G Stylus 2020 model 2020 model and uh, Sony, Rix, uh, Sony Xperia M4 Aqua and a Sony Ericsson uh, uh, K850i in different stages of water damage these two don't work at all these two I managed to repair you can find the repair videos on my channel if you go to my channel and type each phone's name in the smaller search bar you'll find those videos um, and um, each of these were exposed for certain amounts of time while the exposure was occurring and after the exposure, meaning post exposure. These two were probably left the longest because they're completely damaged. This was damaged in a specific way. It's not badly damaged overall on the boat, but there are uh, important places on the boat where the water damage occurred. So this phone will never turn on again. Uh, it's really not worth repairing it and I don't have the tools to repair it either. Maybe in the future I might repair it. Uh, the LG Thrill 4G, which is, by the way, the US variant of the Optimus 3D, uh, the 3D phone uh, with a stereoscopic display. Uh, this thing, no matter, I can give this back to the manufacturer and they'll never fix it. The boat is literally crumbling. The phone looks so nice on the out, on the exterior, but interior, the phone is destroyed. Now, these two, I bought them in the nick of time. Uh, this one is permanently somewhat damaged because of the water uh, going into it. However, the uh, phone itself works. Let me show you. 
uh, the display is a bit dim because the replacement display put on this uh, was a cheap replacement so it takes a while to warm up and the lights become brighter over time but the phone works regardless just a resistor over here came flying off because it was so corroded and the microphone probably doesn't work because of that however the rest of the phone uh, to a certain extent works the cameras were also taken out by the water damage and uh, there are a few other things that don't work on this phone however as a whole the phone still works uh, none of the cameras work uh, not just the camera none of the cameras work the entire camera app crashes uh, neither does the front camera so cameras are some of the first things to go this thing had just a slight water damage on its digitizer connector that creeped in through here however i got uh, to it in the nick of the, in the nick of time and i managed to clean it and this phone has been working for like three years now it works just fine as you can see the digitizer works now because when i bought it the digitizer didn't work digitizer aka the touchscreen um so exposure time um at, while being exposed and after it was exposed also matters because when the phone's in water it's gonna start shorting out and the longer you keep it in water the higher the chance something major is gonna short out so take it out as fast as you can um and after it has been exposed it's best to take it uh, to the repair shop or do it yourself quickly uh, don't put it in rice don't do all that dumb stuff facebook tells you facebook is not a great place to get information in general so you shouldn't be taking tech advice from idiots on facebook uh, rice doesn't work take it to the repair shop as fast as you can after tapping it down like this to get the excess water out um, so if you got to it really quickly and the repair shop managed to clean out the water real quickly you should be good to go maybe some parts on your phone may need replacing like the camera and the microphones however if the repair shop cleans it out properly or if you clean if you are tech savvy and you clean out the phone yourself properly um the phone should be perfectly fine to use for a while you you wouldn't have any issues um it's just provided that the, the cleaning using rubbing alcohol that's what they use to clean water damage uh the cleaning with rubbing alcohol should be thorough and it should be good so if you did it yourself you know how good you did and you should trust the repair shop i guess uh that's kind of a gray area but still if you got to it in the if you got to it uh, quickly you should be fine nothing should be uh wrong the phone should work just fine may need a new camera etc etc may need a new microphone but still you should be good to go now if the phone was kept for a long time after maybe i'd say above two days i'll probably not want to use that phone again because what stuff starts to corrode pretty fast and stuff starts to seep into the board. Now, these are layered boards. Motherboards are, logic boards are, have layers. Water starts to seep into that and stay over time and slowly start to rust. If I, I give a max of two days, because after two days, if, it, if water was inside the phone, I try and get the phone repaired and get all my data out of it, but I wouldn't use the phone after that. So two days max. If you cannot get it repaired within two days, let's say you went hiking or something and it spilled in water and you cannot get back home for two days, get when you're back, get the phone repaired and get your information out of the phone, but don't ever trust the phone after that. It's not gonna be um, probably repairable. Now, this phone is an exact, like, of course, these two have been water damaged for more than two days before I bought them, because I bought them uh, secondhand. However, I don't depend on these phones on a daily basis. I have so many other phones. Uh, if one of these accidentally fails, I'm not going to be pissed because I don't have important data on these things. However, you may do. You may have important data, so I wouldn't trust the phone after two days of water damage. Uh, it's just not safe. So uh, just keep two days as a good limit, and and then again, it's just how fast you reacted to the water damage, how fast you got the phone cleaned out may have to replace some parts if it was less than two days but the phone will still work if it's more than two days probably you shouldn't be using that phone get another phone your important data is more worth more than uh, just buying another phone and replacing it because uh you some data you may be not able to replace it um so don't take that risk but yeah so now let's move on to salt water now salt water is a completely different animal on its own even for a few seconds i, I wouldn't trust a salt water damaged phone if your phone got damaged with salt water immediately get the water out and then put it into fresh water dip the phone in fresh water yes turn the phone off and dip it into fresh water and then shake it around 
then immediately take it to repair. It may be okay, it may be not okay. That's really hard to say, it's like somewhat of a gray area, but personally, if my phone fell in salt water, I just get my data out of it and just buy another phone. Salt water is a disaster. It, the salt will find a way to creep into some small nook and it will destroy the phone over time. You, you can't really be uh, so thorough with your cleaning out. And the, when the salt water evaporates, the salt will remain. And you may have to replace so many parts on your phone that it's probably not gonna be even worth it to begin with. So even if you have respond really fast and get it cleaned out really fast, the salt will damage your phone over time. It's still gonna deposit somewhere. And uh, unless you were like ultra, ultra thorough or the repair shop was really good at their job, depends on who did it, whether it was you or the repair shop. Still, I wouldn't trust a phone that fell in salt water. Get your data out of it as fast as you can, get another phone. Now, if the phone was in salt water for a long time, uh, basically after exposure and the water was in the phone without being cleaned out for a long time, you're probably not gonna get your data to begin with. The phone may never turn on again. Salt water starts acting really fast to corrode all the major ports, the major parts on the boat. Um, so yeah, if your phone sat for probably more than a day with salt water inside the boat, it's gone. You probably may not, you, you'll be lucky to get your data back, let alone use the phone for the rest, rest of uh, how long ever it's supported. So yeah, there's no, I'd say salt water one day max, 24 hours max. And that 20, after that 24 hours, you don't, you, the phone's probably not gonna turn on. And lesser than that 24 hours, you'll get your data back most likely, but you still shouldn't be using that phone. Um, so those are my rules of thumb for salt water. Salt will destroy your phone. You can, you, there's no way you can uh, completely clean out salt water, unless it was just a small exposure, maybe the bottom here, we can replace this part of the phone, maybe the boat, yeah, sure. But fully submerged, the phone's gone, no. Uh, I wouldn't trust your data with that phone. Uh, you, you shouldn't be trusting your data. Uh, just get another phone. Uh, maybe if it was a breeze, like I said, a brief, just a bit of water over here, cool. Replace the bottom half, you're good. But full salt water damage, and if it's more than one day, nah, don't trust your data with that phone. Play it safe, get another phone, it's not worth it if you don't have backups of your data. If you do have backups, then you're fine. However, I'm talking to those who don't. So yeah, that's salt water. So finally, we have solvents and all chemicals and stuff like that. Now, soap, Lysol and stuff. If you get it out quickly and clean it out with fresh water and then take it to the repair center or do it yourself, it's gonna be just like standard uh, tap water like I mentioned in the beginning. Uh, it shouldn't be a problem. Just, do, just get it to the repair shop quickly. Now, chemicals vary. Uh, it could be a very strong chemical like, I don't know, Mm, I can't really think of something, but if you're working in a factory or something, they're using really strong chemicals like acidic solutions and stuff like that. First of all, you shouldn't be putting your hand in there and grabbing stuff. There should be some procedure to get something out of the acid or whatever. So be careful, follow the guidelines of whatever. Let's say your phone fell into a bucket of acid or something. Do not, imp do not act on your impulses and grab the phone. You'll probably end up burning your hand follow the rules and regulations of wherever you're working or whatever the rules and regulations are for that particular acid and then get it out slowly your phone is more likely a goner however your safety comes first that's i don't have to tell you that um but that's a really broad spectrum of things it could be straight up uh, I, I don't know how you drop your phone in hydrochloric acid but there's a, there's a possibility. I mean, if you're working in a factory, sure. Um, but there are just a variety of household things like bleach and then uh, strong cleanings, other strong cleaning solutions. Um, it's really hard to tell, honestly, because there are so many chemicals and they react in different ways. However, stronger bleaches and stuff will start acting on your phone somewhat like salt. Uh, it'll start getting at your bowl. So the best thing to do if your phone falls in a... Uh, some sort of solution that's not soap or Lysol or just stuff that's okay on your hand, um, immediately wash it out with fresh water and take it to the repair shop. Here's my rule of thumb. If it burns your hand, it burns your phone. Uh, just stick to that. If it's something that shouldn't be put on your skin, for example, bleach and other extremely strong cleaning agents, I probably shouldn't uh, recommend you use that phone. So yeah, don't use that phone. 
just get your data out of it and change your phone. If it fell in like soap, Lysol or anything that is safe on your hands, for example, like soap, Lysol, dish soap, whatever, the phone is likely good. Get it to the repair shop quickly, get it uh, cleaned out. It's likely good for a few more years. Uh, like I said, your camera probably will need replacing, but apart from that, the phone's still good. But bleach and other stuff, if it doesn't go well on your hand, if it burns your hand and stuff, um, it probably will also burn your boat and screw up your internals. So just use that as a rule of thumb. It's not, it's really hard to gauge, honestly, if your phone falls in bleach and stuff like that, cleaning really strong solutions. It's hard because it's such a wide range of chemicals, but still use that rule of thumb. So yeah, that's the three main uh, liquids that your phone can fall into. I didn't mention lava, but come on, that's can, that's that's a no-brainer. But uh, yeah, there are some liquids that will completely destroy your phone and some which are fine. So still, at the end of the day, it's all up to how badly the phone was exposed and the exposure time, the post-exposure time, etc., etc. It's really hard to gauge. But honestly, at the end of the day, if your data is that important if it's stuff you can never replace like photos documents and like something that you honestly cannot replace one-time things you should just honestly be either backing your data up or just getting another phone do not take that risk your data is more valuable than a couple of hundred dollars on a new phone if you really can't afford a new phone at that point find a way to get an old hard drive and back the stuff up on that hard drive leave the hard drive aside um because you i don't think you should be trusting that phone whatever the situation is um because it's your data at the end of the day anyway i hope this video helped you somewhat and again sorry i couldn't be too specific because water or liquid damage is a really broad spectrum of things uh it just always depends on the phone model and uh the exposure times and it's so specific so yeah uh thanks for watching i honestly uh, hope you i hope this video helped you if it honestly did don't forget to smash that like button down below and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell notification button so you're notified whenever i upload a new video uh leave a comment down below or a question if you have a question we can start a discussion or i can answer your question uh, also check out my social media which is linked down in the description below thumbs up and i'll see you guys in my next video